And what do we have here? We have, but yet again, another Steinway. This time in 1922, Steinway Model B. Just incredible. Steinways, pianos are just incredible. But Steinways are just, just, just at the top of the list. And a Steinway B is probably considered by many people to be the quintessential piano. And uh, this one has uh, just had a rebuild to, uh, done to it. This is a, a new Alaskan Sitka spruce soundboard, a new uh, a Bullock uh, pin block, uh, new pins, new strings. Yeah. Just gave the case of French polish, has new bushings. This is the mid range on this piano. Into the tone, the rich tone. the action regulated by master technician Dan Camerata and boy what a regulation and voicing he does this piano you could just just barely caress it in response his regulations enable you to get to a place where you've probably never gotten before playing any piano I find I could play softer. Opened up a whole dimension of my playing. We started playing Dan's uh, pianos, pianos regulated by Dan. And also as far as power and force, you don't have to physically exert yourself to get the big sound. speed. So what did we have there? We had a Steinway Model B, Grand Piano. In my opinion, the quintessential Grand Piano on the planet. Six foot ten and a half inches long, and that was a satin ebony finish with a new soundboard, new pin block, new strings, new pins, and a new French polish applied to the finish. And yeah, that piano just sounds remarkable. And the action was regulated by master technician Dan Camerata. That piano is just beautiful, sublime. And it's going to make somebody very, very, very happy. I wonder who. Maybe it'll be you.